fundamentally, there's a field of information from which everything emerged from. These equations clearly demonstrate that. Um, you know, you have Wellcheck that just gave the, uh, a conference on, uh, in 2017, for instance, the, which was, uh, I think, the reality of the vacuum was, was the name of the conference. Uh, mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, it talked about ether theory in details and, the, and how, you know, the vacuum replaced that. I mean, like, literally, a good portion of that talk, you could listen to one of my talks. 10 years, even 20 years ago, and you would yeah. hear something similar. But basically, you know, um, there is a fundamental field at the base of everything that's interacting with everything. And what we are seeing in our reality is the energy of effect of that field. And so, um, you know, we can describe the energy effect moving through the scales of the you know octaves of the structure of space-time you know from uh, Planck scale to proton to electron through molecular structure through you know ATP molecule production in the body and you know the um, mitochondria energy production and, and how it transfers the information through the system you can calculate it in terms of uh, um, you know, literally in terms of heat in the system, um, you know, in terms of electromagnetic radiation and, um, and then how the information moves through. So that base has to be there so that, you know, the rest makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and when you do that, then you can work out the details of every scale in relationship to the Planck field that is in the relationship to a base, you know, energy right. source that's running the whole thing, right? Right. So there's a base energy source, a base geometry, a base mathematics that's, that's informing right. all of that then emerges from it. So then you keep tying it all back into that. That's right. And then you see the commonality and the wholeness. Yeah, exactly. So then it's easy because wherever you look, you, you, see, the same, you see the same dynamics. You can recognize them. Right. right, right. Like, for instance, in the ATP production, where you have a, a cellular structure that has literally a little magnetic motor ripping electrons of H atoms of the glucose, uh, you know, and 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 that is spinning at seven thousand RPM, you know, in a fluid water, um, you, you know, on the surface of cells, uh, and and when. When you consider that uh, you recycle your weight every day in ATP, in ATP production, um, while in ATP recycling, and um, you know, I mean, you, the amount, and then if you run a marathon, then you recycle about a ton, you know, which is remarkable. <laughs> um, and and so you know, the, this is the so you can. Now, when you think about all these things, uh, you start to see the relationship in terms of energy, you know, because uh, directly to the Planck field, because if you have an equation that tells you the electron is made out of the Planck field, right? And that's how it gets its mass. Now you have a direct energy conversion, right? Um, because you know the rate of rotation of the little motor and you know how much ATP is being uh, recycle and all this, so, so now it starts to make sense.